because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at the top tier HQ, one day out from Momentum. Mr. Johnny Clark, the man behind it all. How are you, mate? I'm very good, mate. How are you? Very well, thank you. Back from Prague. Yep. Giving it large in Prague. Yeah, that's it. Well, I was on the romantic side of Prague. Not the proper romantic part with not my wife, but I was with my wife. <laughs> um, she, I wish I was on that side of it. <laughs> yeah, I think half of them was. I see cues. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was brilliant out there, mate. Honestly, like, uh, I cried. I didn't even cry at a kid's birth, you know what I mean? But I cried when I was there. My wife looked at me like, you all right? I was like, yeah, I'll get past it. But yeah, it's brilliant. I can't believe it. Mate, I was gutted, but both West Ham fans, proper season ticket holders, how much did it mean? No, it meant the world. Like, but, uh, my mum and dad went out there. So my mum and dad was out there. They didn't have a ticket. And I was like, mum, dad, you're 70. Like, what, what are you playing at? And they was like, no, we're going to go to the fan zone. They've only backstage with Chesney York singing his songs and that. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I got in at 12 o'clock after the game. Obviously, put the missus to, to bed. She was knackered, bless her. Um, and my old man, that going at three o'clock. My mum texted me, are you still awake? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sound though. But uh, no, it was brilliant. I can't, can't, uh, I can't even explain it, uh, what it meant to me. Because I always have banter with everyone. All the fans, I'm like, West Ham, oh, you're never going to win nothing. Uh, and you're a bit deluded. You turn up every week, you give it. But what are you? Well, now we're champions of Europe. You know what I mean? So. More trophies than Tottenham. That's all I can say. But we could talk about West Ham all day, but there is. Uh, some more pressing matters tomorrow night. Brentwood Centre, your second show. Mm -hmm. I know it's not been as smooth sailing as the yeah. first one, but how are you feeling, first of all, going into tomorrow night? Oh, do you know what? I'm happy. Um, I'm happy that I was tested as well because if you keep having things easy, you're never going to grow. And what I've been through for this promotion, like the first card I put into the board, we've had 14 changes on it. So, yeah, it's been... Uh, it's been I'll talk to the devil. She's here. Come in, it's all right. Just don't talk. <laughs> uh, it, it's been very testing. And uh, I've, I've actually enjoyed the stress. But that doesn't mean that you can cause me more stress next time to anyone watching this. Because I think I bought it on myself a bit, if I'm being honest. I was boasting how I'm a problem solver. So this show, they thought, I'll give him a problem. <laughs> That's what I've had. Well, you've had 14 big problems yeah. uh, with the pullouts. Um, just go through the scenarios and just how did you cope with that? Oh, how did I cope with it? I'll be crying to my wife. <laughs> but the main part was, um, yeah, it was the 50-50 ones that hurt me the most. Obviously, um, Nathan Comiskey coming down from Newcastle. He had a pull out. His opponent broke his hand. And then um, to get someone fighting a 50-50 a little bit late, it was quite hard. But then we got him a good test in uh, Mendoza. So... That's, that's basically a 60-40, you know, so it wasn't a bad one. And then, obviously, last minute on the Friday, a good fight. The one that I thought was going to be fight of the night, we had a medical scan issue, so um, Lorenzo got pulled by the board and he wouldn't be able to sort it in time. So now Thomas is fighting uh, is it Sanchez, I think, yeah. yeah, and he's obviously fought Linares, so it ain't all bad for him. He still gets a good win, hopefully, on his record, and yeah. I think you'd have a fight on your hands if you didn't get Thomas out. He's raring to go tomorrow night. Do you want to know the truth? He turned up today for the weigh-in. I said, yeah. I said it's tomorrow, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Come and eat your McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just go through the card then. Obviously, Jordan Perk is someone you've known for 10-plus years. Mm -hmm. He's always kind of praised you, thanked you for linking him up with Will Jones. Been a big part of his career. Yeah. So from a personal standpoint, proud to have him as an English champion on the card defending his title. Yes, it's part of the reason I got into the sport was obviously seeing them absolutely smash it. And uh, to have him on my show, yeah, I think it's a great investment and I'm I'm pleased for him. I'm sure he gets the win as well, you know what I mean? And then uh, he's talking about going down the weight, he made weight easier. I said, fuck you, love. Look skinny, but if you can lose more weight, do it, you know what I mean? 100%. And Jack Martin, who's just come out of a war against Shaq Day mm. for that area title, he's fighting Ryan Maycock, who won the tournament on your yeah. first show. So a bit of continu continuity there, uh, carrying on. 
yeah. and uh, be a really good fight that one. Yeah, yeah. Don't sleep on Ryan. Everyone did for the tournament, and he uh, he dropped everyone, and he nearly knocked uh, uh, Angelo in the final. Um, oh, he didn't drop Kevin. Sorry, no, sorry, but he uh, dropped Angelo a couple of times. Um, very good fighter, very aggressive. Just made weight eventually today, um, but I'm looking forward to that fight because they're both the hardest workers in the gym. So it'd be great to see. Someone I've seen around kind of the circuit, your call, your small hall circuits, then seeing sparring, someone who's I'm really excited about, and I'm sure you are, Zach Fee yes. with Billy Rumble. He's making his pro debut, kind of much anticipated. So good to have him at the start of the journey. Yeah, very happy to have him um, on my show. He's been lovely to work with, him and Bill. I like Bill a lot. And the way Bill acts, it obviously comes across in his fighters and they're nice, easy to work with, him and Tyrone. Um, but keep an eye on Zach's ring walk. It's going to be special. So, yeah. And Jarrell Patterson. Mm. Kind of, he had that disaster first fight against Mermadov and he yeah. gets that rematch to right the wrong that wasn't his fault. It was yeah. down to no fault of his own. The yeah. fight getting stopped. Went a draw kind of controversially as well yeah. only a few months ago. But third fight, just kind of get rid of those demons. Yeah, and as soon as they uh, offered me Jarrell... I said, yeah, let's get his W uh, back from the draw. And uh, we got him on. I said, but it won't be easy because Vassif can fight and he's going to be angry that you stopped him for 28 days with his cut. Um, so I thought that would be a great fight to have. And I think that's on second. Yeah, so get there early to watch it. And Kevin Reveal, obviously, he's mm -hmm. make it, looking to make a comeback. Yeah. It wasn't what we wanted kind of last no. time the local lad the whole crowd was behind him we wanted him to make kind of make that final yeah. didn't play out like that but a good chance to come back a little bit of redemption there at the same venue just a few months later yeah and against Rod Douglas Rod Douglas broke uh, broke broke uh, Tommy McCallum's jaw on the last show so it's not an easy fight um, he was meant to fight Angelo Antonio in another 50-50 but Angelo pulled out um, so now he had to get in with Rod Late change, upper weight as well, but he was going for it. And I said to him, we need you to get some momentum. And that's what this show's for. And it's, it's named well because you're going to do that on the show. So um, he's a local lad, sells good tickets. And yeah, I hope he gets this win and we can crack on with him. Someone who's been, been on the big stage, he's been on TV, mm. an exciting fighter in Harvey Horn. Bit of a statement. I know, kind of going back to the old name, the first show, but a bit of a statement putting him on the card. Yeah, yeah, and um, to be fair, they approached me, and uh, that, that shows how well I'm doing, because obviously I've got links with like Ali and Sam Gilly in his gym, but through networking and putting on good shows, that, that's what I was hoping would happen with the first show, make a statement, and then people like Harvey are going to want to be on my show, and thank God it worked, and uh, here we are. Aussie, mm. the best four-round fight I've ever seen last yeah. time out. I know he weren't originally meant to be on this card, yeah. but when a bit of space freed up, yeah. you straight into him and wanted him back? Yeah, 100%. To be fair, the problem was he was out on a show like four weeks before mine. And I said to him, I'm sorry, mate, because if you're on my show, I'm going to give you the best promotion, all the media, all the promo videos. And if you get cut or stopped on that show and they give you a 48 or whatever day ban, you can't spar, then it's a bit too risky. And he was ill, so he couldn't fight on the show. He pulled out. And then after a week, I said, are you going to be okay for this day? I'll put you on. Because he, he put it on the line from our show. He come in at a 50-50 and had it with Ray, who was 2-0. and So I said, I'd always look after him. And, yeah, he come through. He's on this one. His first six-rounder. And then he's on September the 2nd in a brilliant 50-50 fight, as long as he comes through this. A little bit of a sneak peek there. September 2nd, is that the plan next show? Yeah, that's it. I know we've got um, Queensview going on that date, so it's going to be a busy one. But the card's stacked already in all 50-50s. Touchwood so far. I think originally mm. it was meant to be Eubank Junior Smith 2. Yeah. Bit of a touch that is kind of a little bit of an open weekend there. Yeah, definitely. Um, never nice to clash. But the good thing is so many boxing shows on shows that the business is doing well. And I made the right decision to get into the game. You mentioned the media side of it, the promotion. We've kind of seen, especially with Jordan, Hollywood voiceovers, yeah. drones flying about, the cameras, the full works. Yeah. How important is that 
to kind of market yourself with an image as we're the business, we're proper. Yeah, we've got a name like Top Tier. Come out and said I'm going to make a statement. If I did make a statement, I would I be bottom tier. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what we've done now is we've got Chris on board. Chris is going to be my commentator. The voiceovers are unbelievable. So what we've done was that like, I directed him. We had a Zoom call, played the videos, and then he said it's like writing to a song, and we just wrote to it as both of us. Uh, I was explaining stories. He was putting his voice on it, and then he said I'll commentate on your show. He's already sent me the opening, so I've never had this before. Now I've got a script to follow, you know, <laughs> timings and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good, and it shows professional. And that's what I wanted to be. I didn't want to be a normal small hall show. I wanted to come in and light the scene up, and with professionals help, then that's what I'll be. Is it being shown on BBTV again tomorrow yeah. night? Yeah. Uh, so do you want to give it a little plug? If there's any more tickets available, BBTV, watch it. Brentwood Centre tomorrow night. Yeah, so it starts at 6.15. We're going live. Um, there is tickets on the door, cash or card, um, but yeah, be there or be square. Be there or be square, Johnny Clark. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and look forward to a good fight night tomorrow night. I'll be there. West Ham are massive. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go. Cheers, Bye. mate. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Like the bouncers' guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.